If you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get your FIFA 16 Ultimate Team coins, check the link in the description and use the code ETONI to get 5% off. What is up guys and welcome back to another club tour where every two weeks basically I update you on what's been happening with my club, the shopping sprees I've been on in FIFA and so on and so forth. Make sure you check out G2A, the link will be in the description if you're looking to buy PSN cards or Microsoft points or cheap games on PC. So. The, the team is starting to look really nice. I have to say my Serie A squad, there's, a, there's been a new Serie A players coming in every single week, which is pretty awesome. Now, Handanovic is basically tied up as the highest rated goalkeeper in the Serie A with Buffon, the non inform obviously. But I have to say, I actually prefer Handanovic to, to Buffon. So if you're in, in the middle and you're low on coins, I would actually go with Handanovic if you had to choose one or the other so uh, Handanovic is definitely better than Buffon in this game he has saved me so many one-on-ones and he just seems the better overall keeper even when you um, compare the stats between him and Buffon you would definitely see that Buffon only has I think one better positioning and just better kicking so if that's not a big deal to you then Handanovic is basically ideal so then we move on to another new um, player that I bought this week uh, I have to say Mykon is is really looking good for a right back position pace isn't that big of a deal anymore so 79 pace is really good 76 shooting 80 passing 80 dribbling 82 defending and 80 physical making him one of the best looking right backs in the game so definitely had to buy him for my squad Chiellini is still in that same position now I think he is the second best uh, center back you could get in the Serie A right now after Chiellini of course with amazing amazing stats for only an 83 overall player C crazy stats and what makes him even better is he's tall and he has everything that you need in a center back he's strong fast everything moving on to um, Alexandro no one to replace him yet so we're still waiting on the better left back to buy um, in my opinion he's still the best uh, left back in the Serie A then we have Perisic I I just I was uh, in the middle of a debate to myself basically I just didn't know who should I play Pjanic and uh, or Perisic but every time I would compare their stats Perisic just has a better, just better stats for a midfielder, especially with that 76 physical. So I have yet to try any of them two in that position, but Perisic, he just has that 76 physical, which I, which is like I said, is ideal for that position and great shooting and really nice pace. 81 pace for a midfielder, that is pretty damn fast. And uh, Pjanic, I would say you could play him there if you don't have anyone that's good at free kicks in your team, but we already have so many, so there's no point. Then we have Pogba, who's always going to be in that position because he's just amazing. We have Guari in here, still one of my favorite midfielders or one of my favorite players in the game. And then we have another new uh, player, a new entry into the team, and that's Felipe Anderson. No touch dribbling with this guy is crazy. Try him out in that position, sent attacking mid, amazing. Then we have the new informed Diabala. I have to say this guy is crazy good. Very overhyped, but worth every penny as well. Very expensive for an 80 overall player, but I have to say he's worth every penny. He's fast, no touch dribbling is crazy, way better shooting now because of the inform. Just overall a very nice balanced player. Then we have Insigne, which could surprise you. You'll be like, how could you play him as a, as a striker? But if you could take advantage of no touch dribbling, he is one of the best players in the damn game. Just great agility, great balance, and he is just amazing to get run, just run past you know the defenders. They can't catch up to him, and every time they try and guess which way you're gonna go, no time dribbling, you have to think so quick and guess which way you're gonna go. That's how fast he is. Um, just amazing. Now we're gonna go to the main team that I have been using. It's been changed as well quite a bit. So we have Handanovic now in goal instead of Buffon obviously. We have changed the formation to 4-3-1-2, same with the Serie A team as I showed. But Barisi I just couldn't, um, I had to sell Beckenbauer because Barisi and Laurent Blanc were the best two centre-backs in my team and they were worth the price. Baker Power, he, he was over a million coins and I couldn't feel, you know, I just didn't feel like he was up to the task because he's also 5'11 and that much coinage, I just felt like, nah, I'll, get, I'll rather get money and uh, uh, improve this squad. Now, Barisi, even though he's 5'9, 
Um, I have to say he's the best centre back in all the legends that I've tried out. I've tried out Maldini, I've tried out all the best legend centre backs and I always come back to Barisi or even Cannavaro. Them two are very very amazing centre backs. Laurent Blanc is awesome as well but I'm going to have to give it to the Italian centre backs. Barisi and Cannavaro are amazing but the only reason why I don't play Cannavaro as well is because I can't handle two uh, short centre backs so I'd rather have one tall and one short one. Um, so Laurent Blanc is amazing as well if you are looking for pace, if you're looking for strength, if you're looking for a very very balanced centre back that is tall as well. This guy is six foot three, very amazing in that position. Then we have now a new entry into the team and that is Roberto Carlos. He's definitely going to be taking all my free kicks now. Um, well depending if it's going to be a power free kick he's definitely going to be taking it or Burkamp if it's going to be from close range but Roberto Carlos is the welcome entry to the team and then we have Rui Costa which is um, like another player that has crazy free kicks and amazing shooting so uh, you just really can't, I can't wait to try him out because I haven't yet to do so this year I've just only bought him then we have Gattuso in midfield now this could surprise a lot of you but I've always loved Gattuso in real life, so I really want to try him out in this game. Now, his stats don't look the greatest, but he is a central defensive mid, and I really want to try him out. And I know Matt House has better, you know, he could be better in that position. Well, he is going to be better in that position, I think. But I think I just really wanted to try Gattuso. That is the only reason. Just because of the 2006 World Cup and just loved watching him. He's just amazing and uh, I just really want to try him out in the game. So 92 physical and 85 defending, great, great central defensive mid stats. But the only problem I have might have with him is he's short. So when the goalkeeper, when the opponent's goalkeeper kicks it out, he won't be there to head it unless his jumping is crazy. But I have yet to try him out as well. Maybe in the next uh, video I will let you guys know in the next club tour what I thought of him and if you could, if you see him still in my club or not. But I, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure his positioning is going to be amazing. So uh, let's just hope. Then Matt House, he's still one of my favorite players. Uh, nothing much to say about him. He's scoring me the long shots. He's all over the place, intercepting. He's just a great great player in this game. Burkamp. Guarin was my favorite center attacking mid, but I have to give it to Bergkamp. He's just amazing. And for some reason, even though Guarin has better shooting, uh, long shots and shot power, Bergkamp just feels his shots are a lot more powerful. I'm not too sure why. Uh, it's just it maybe just because he's a legend with them hidden stats, you know. But then we have Hullet and Weyer. I just can't uh, break up that striker combo. They just really amazing uh, together. And I have to say, that's all there is to it for this. Uh, for this club tour. Not much new, I'm, I'm gonna show you some of the new informs I have brought in, but uh, again, if Gattuso doesn't play well, I'm gonna replace him with Pogba, so that's one thing you have to keep in mind. So you'll still be a pretty amazing team, but I'm really looking forward to trying out Gattuso. Now, when I go to the club, um, not too many new players. We do have uh, some of the players I've already showed you. The informs that we have managed to pack are very very low in rating so you would have seen this guy in the pack opening which we packed and have yet to try him and then we have um caruso i think we packed him a while ago as well jovino we bought aurier we uh packed so not too much to update you on uh in terms of shopping sprees other than the two squads that we have changed around and got a couple of new players in those squads but other than that it's still pretty much uh, nothing has changed but in the next episode it should be closer to team of the year I might be selling up and so on and so forth but I'll let you guys know what's gonna be happening in the next episode make sure you hit the like button if you enjoyed this episode I will be updating you guys every two weeks on what's going on with my club hope you guys enjoyed it and hope you guys have a very nice day